Until the Eid moon is sighted, Muslims worldwide will be fasting from sunup to sundown. Before fasting, it is customary to have a pre-dawn meal called suhoor, and after going without food or water for sometimes over 12 hours, they break their fast. And that meal that you use to break the fast is called the iftar. That's what we, we use. Now it's an opportunity um, to break fast in, as, as a community. Imam Aziz says while there is the option to break fast at home by yourself or with family, the belief is that acts of worship, when done as a community, brings greater blessings. But if you come to the masjid and you break your fast and then you perform the maghrib prayer, which is the, the, early after, the early evening prayer, and then there is more blessing according to the Prophet ﷺ on whom be peace. And, and that's the, the reason why people will come out. And you know the, the saying, the family that prays together stays together. That's what we do. There are certain rules to follow when breaking fast. You make dua, a private prayer, then there is a brief period of eating. We break the fast with a date. Uh, date is the, is, the, is the sunnah or the practice of the Prophet and whom we peace, who we follow, who we try to follow the best of our ability. And so when dates are available, we use the dates. And if dates aren't available, then we use anything. You know, to, to, any, any fruit can be used or a sip of water is sufficient. And after breaking fast, the community then performs the evening prayer or Maghrib Salah before having dinner. Imam Aziz says there's no prayer over the food as practiced in some other religions. There is no food that is used in any um, Islamic rituals. There is none. All right? so, so we don't pray. We don't have to pray on food and bless food and so on. That's not, that's not um, from Islam. The Eid moon is expected around April 10th this year. Stacey on Providence, TDT News.